Today I'm going back and taking a look at Keegan. I'm going to be going over his abilities, best card setups for Horde and Escape, how you should buy your perks, and then for newer players I'll be going over lastly this time all cards explained. To start off we have his ultimate ability which is regenerates ammo by nearby allies. Now this only regenerates ballistic ammo. You will need explosive resupply and need to be in the Venom to resupply in Escape. And you will need to have bought at least the level 1 perk for explosive resupply to be able to regenerate explosive ammo in Horde. Passive ability is enemies that die with your mark reduce your cooldown on your ultimate. So enemies that die with your mark reduce the cooldown of your ultimate. It used to be that he had to be the one that killed them now it's actually even better and this even makes him more beast and horde and we're going to get into his horde setup first because i know he is now uh, getting those perk bonuses in horde so his horde setup is really a given there's really no alternative card setup that you could run i don't it's just my opinion you know usually i might have two or three opinions of different ways you can run them Keegan has one and it's resupply healing module so once you get the salvo or for whenever you use it or your resupply you and anyone else in your radius mainly this is for you post it up with the salvo get faster healing and reduce damage so you're harder to bring down and you can keep going and not drop the salvo resupply duration so you get longer use recharge bounty so you get your cooldown and your ability back faster. Eagle Eye, so you can basically mark everybody while firing the salvo and get your ability back really quick. Shredder to cause the bleed, can't ha not have that card. So for escape, it's pretty much the same setup on most maps. Every map you're going to have Shredder, every map you're going to have Recharge Bounty, Every map you're going to have Venom, Explosive, Resupply. Now your 4th and your 5th are generally Venom Boost and your 5th card. Um, could be Resupply Duration for your team depending on how much they need ammo. Could be Resupply Healing Module for when you think you're going to be using your Resupply. Could be Eagle Eyes so you can mark multiple targets in a battle that your teammates are killing. And the potential interrogation uh, looks pretty nice. I mean it's harder to take enemies uh, with Keegan as the meat shield. Usually he takes uh, the least amount of enemies with it but the radius that it marks targets is really nice. So if you were using him for a leaderboard game well then again you wouldn't have a fourth and fifth card so that wouldn't work. But yeah there's a couple of potential uh, fifth cards that you can run I mean, Grenade Pouch on some maps is nice too. Modified Hammer Burst, depending how long it's going to take you to go get your explosive weapons. Now, I'm going to be doing how to buy your perks this time before the cards, as I said. To start off, he has an interesting way I think you should buy his perks. And that's starting off with a level 1 explosive resupply, because if you don't have that, you're not generating any ammo when you use it for your boom shot or if you go and pick up a drop shot. And I think you might want to, unless your engineer, I mean, he is, my two games that I played him, I easily 2x scored everybody. He can be the easily the most damaging player in the game and definitely should have a locker first or second. Uh, but a level 1 or level 2 locker before you get salvos really isn't doing you much good. So let's get into the how you buy your perks. So you need the level 1 explosive resupply at the start. If it's a robot wave, you're going to be depositing everything. So you can go and get your lockers. At this point, the engineer should build you a little bit higher on the locker so you can get your salvos. Once you got those, you're pretty much set. And if not, if you don't get the robots in the first wave, you're probably going to get this up to about 3. Keep depositing into the fabricator. But also within the first 10 waves, get it to 3. Now after this is done, you're going to split your explosive resupply and ammo capacity about 
you also actually before you're doing this at wave uh 10 11 12 uh potentially at nine if you have a jack or eight if you have a jack you're going to be getting a salvo if you don't already have salvos because it wasn't a robot wave you're gonna buy one salvo and then uh up your explosive resupply and your ammo capacity as well as try to buy a second salvo in the very near future so you have at least two and then wait till you get sentinels or robot ways before you buy any more I mean, don't buy any more they're expensive and after you're done with that you can go to like six to eight or even to ten that's your choice how fast uh, you're getting your ability back how much you have to run to your locker and then do damage eventually if the team is good and everything's not getting destroyed you should have explosive resupply ammo capacity and damage all at 10 and if there's complete money to burn you can up the other one too but I mean it's really not needed unless your recharge bounty is very low and uh that's how I, well actually that's how I think you should buy perks but let me get into the cards for the new players so we have resupply healing module which reduces damage for anybody in the radius of the ability the resupply and also forces to uh, X uh, faster regen so it gives you faster regen at max level 225 is very fast it makes you hard to bring down besides intense fire or sniper bullets Resupply duration increases the duration of your ability, recharge bounty, any enemies that die from your mark will get uh, cooldown. Now this, if you kill it, you get reduced cooldown. If a teammate kills it, they get reduced cooldown. Eagle Eyes marks additional targets, allowing you to have multiple marks on the board at one time. Shredder is your bleed for all explosive weapons. Epic score boost is increased. Reup XP interrogation marks all targets within X meters of taking a meat shield. Not an execution, you have to take a meat shield. Resupply amplifier increases the radius of your ability. Venom boost kills in the venom in escape, only in escape because there's no venom in horde. Reduces your cooldown. Battle hardened resistance to explosive damage. Resupply speed loader anybody in the ability will bypass the reload and not have to reload while firing the gun. It's kind of like Marcus's living legend now. Venom explosive resupply kills in... Oh no, that one is uh, the one needed in escape so you can recharge your explosive weapons. This allows you to get explosive ammo back when you use your ability in the venom, any form of the venom. Custom snub, increased damage on the snub. Grenade pouch allows you to hold more grenades. Huddle up gives you more ammo for the duration of your ability for how many people are in the ability. So if there's two, you get uh, that like X amount more. If there's three, you'll get even that much more. It, you know, modified hammer burst, you get more damage on your hammer burst. You know, the score boost card, and this card seems to be broken. I mean, it reads like it'd be really cool, but apparently nobody's an aggressive enemy, so it's complete crap. And uh, that is Keegan. I hope that helps.